Well, it is day 11. <laughs> Pretty good when you've been out here so long now you can't keep track of days. Welcome friends, subscribers, internet strangers who I just haven't had a chance to meet. Welcome to the Bearded Pickers channel. I am currently on a 30 something day quest from Alabama to the west coast and back and as you can see from the video footage that rolled just a second ago, if I remember to put it there, if not, it'll be after here. <laughs> it's, it's terrible when you can't trust your own mind to remind you of things because you're getting so damn old. Uh, sourcing uh, to ASD, which is um, a wholesale trade show, conference, whatever you want to call it. And I've got some extra time because I got here so early. So, you know, we left Vegas and we headed to California because um, there are lots of Walgreens out here and Walmarts in the land of plenty so but I thought it was supposed to be perfect weather all the time and it's cloudy and overcast looks like winter hell I can get this in Alabama what's up so anyway I've been out here one time before in my life uh, last year and I forgot that the very first store I stopped in do you need a bag because they're 10 cents really <laughs> we're paying for plastic bags I mean, do you not tax us enough and everything else that you force these stores to charge for plastic bags? I mean, ugh, don't get me started. Because I'll go on some libertarian conservative rant that'll just piss me off for the rest of the day. But anyway, I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to have a great day. You can control. I do firmly believe, firmly believe that you control your attitude. You can control how things go. Um... So I'm having a great day. I'm above ground. That's always a good start. And so this place is surrounded by mountains. I took one picture. I think I'll stick it in. Um, lots of snow capped cap mountains here. Um, I'm in Barstow, California right now. Headed towards uh, Los Angeles and then maybe San Diego tomorrow. Who knows? Depends on how far I get. Um, hotels are seem to be a whole lot cheaper down that way. So when I get to the edge of LA, I've got a bunch of stores marked on the map just on the edge and then going to go straight down so try to get some interesting video footage so right now it's only been more brown stuff out here um, lots of dead grass and no grass and desert and just ugliness so I have not filmed anything yet but hopefully guys enjoyed the drive around Vegas yesterday that was one reason I had to leave because I I was kind of getting too complacent, not really doing much, just sort of wandering. And uh, when I get out here on the on the road with a, with a mission, I'll hammer down and hit 35, 40 stores. I already hit nine stores today. So uh, I will hammer down to push through them. But if I don't have any kind of purpose or any kind of thing like that, I can kind of get mm, ADD, to which I don't have context over. So therefore, I am on the road again. Look forward to... Uh, finding some cool places uh gonna be in and out burger for lunch today because i've only had it once on this trip and before you know it i'll be turning out of here thinking damn i wish i had an in and out burger so yeah there's that so i will i'll get you a good picture of in and out burger for everybody who hadn't seen it i'll go ahead and order an animal just like i did last time animal style double double on both animal on both and then I'll, I'll get you some video of what it looks like peace
so it's 6 45 at night what are you doing yes 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 i'm still at it i got a hotel room somewhere ayers sweets hotel something i don't even know where it's at but hell the drugstore is still open so i'm still at it just thought i'd give you a current view of what i'm up to hope you enjoyed looking at the scenery i film coming down the hill that was a thousand drop then another thousand drop feet uh just just amazing scenery i couldn't get those cars out of my way so that i could get a better view but the car in front of the one that you see a lot yeah it was a, it was a sheriff's officer so i couldn't go faster or do anything crazy so we get to look at that same van or whatever the hell it was in front of us having a good day today uh started off in vegas this morning stopped at a bunch of walgreens and some CVS's. Yeah, no, I don't like CVS too much, but never been out here, so I've just kind of been piddling to find trying something to do. Been to three Walmarts, uh, two Goodwills. Uh, what else have I done today? I ate an in and out burger. Hey, that was for you, Adam Cotter. <laughs> I posted a picture on Facebook because every time I mention it, I'm out. Adam uh, yells and screams at me because he wants in and out. Oh, well, that's a good one. The more he yells, the more I'll put it on there. So that's awesome. <laughs> he said he's going to stab me next time he sees me. That's awesome. It's a good thing he lives about 800 miles away from me. But anyway, having a great day. I uh, just thought I'd show you some uh, night scenes. Uh, this phone does a pretty decent job. with the Pixel 2 XL recording video up front here. I just see a lot of cool sights. It is strange to see palm trees and mountains in the same uh same picture oops don't know what areas i'm in good or bad uh you know i'm a country boy guns in my pocket uh the last uh walgreens had a uh security guard <laughs> for whatever that's worth and pole baskets anybody know what a pole basket is <laughs> so, so you can't steal them or get them out of the doors they stick a damn pole on it and i can also tell where you're at in the store yeah I know I'm a high class when it's a pole basket place. So uh, let's see what else has been going on. Pretty much nothing. I gotta find something to eat tonight. Uh, don't know what it is. Generally, uh, I'll search around the hotel and pick up something on the way in. Uh, the one thing uh, a lot of people said, man, they'd, they'd love to do this. They'd love to be out here sourcing, whether it's eBay or Amazon or or both, and. If you're by yourself, the one the one time that you really know you're by yourself, I get so focused and so killing the map and all the dots on the map, and I got to get through them, and I'm gonna crush them. Uh, when you stop and eat, though, you realize you're eating by yourself a lot. So therefore, you know that's the time when you know the if if you're gonna suffer from any kind of loneliness, that's gonna happen. So generally, I will take the lunch on, in the car. Could not eat in and out in the car because. You know, I can, I can barely get food in my mouth without spilling all over me anyway. And, you know, in and out, it just went everywhere. Uh, so, I would get the, I'll get something to go into the hotel room. So, that won't be quite as bad. But, anyway, that's, uh, well, there's a Goodwill. I wonder if it, no lights on. I wonder if it's open. Goodwill, you be open? I don't know. Let me, let me go to Walgreens and we'll come back. But, I just wanted to touch base with everybody to let you know uh, what's been going on today. I don't know what that is over there. There's something way over on the hill. Uh, oh, that didn't work. The problem at night is it focuses on anything with light. And since I haven't been using the camera today, I've been using the phone. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you the hotel because I've never been in in Ayers or whatever the heck it is. So, uh, that'll be up next. And then, uh, yeah, I'll sign off for the night. And day 11 will be in the books. Day 12. Still tossing up the idea now of just skipping ASD altogether, just sourcing California the whole entire time until Johnny flies to uh, Vegas, and I'll pick her up in Vegas, and we'll be the same tourists we were going to be. So uh, more on that later. Any ideas? Would you go to ASD, or would you just keep making money? I don't know. ASD, I've never done wholesale, so I don't know. I'll talk about it tomorrow. Okay, well, I thought that was going to be the end of the little video here. We were going to... Uh, say goodbye in the car we were gonna go our separate ways and all those other fun stuff then i got to the hotel this is the most different hotel room i've been in a while so i figured 
you guys want to look. So let me uh, let me put my. I'm sorry, I'm still learning this camera. Flip it around. All right, here's the big reveal. So it's got two double beds. That's normal. And it's got a desk. That's normal. I'm watching Josh Gates' uh, Expedition Unknown. I'm a big Josh Gates fan. I like that show. Um, but here's this bar thing. In the middle of the room, it's got the microwave on it. It's got the refrigerator in it. Oh, sorry, I went the wrong way. There's the refrigerator. I hope you can see it. Um, oops, wrong way. There's the uh, there's a bench seat. There is a coming up to a normal. This rest of it's just normal. Um, nice countertop, uh, mirror me. What's up? Uh, did you want to go that way? Bathroom, all top. It's just subway tile. It's pretty normal. And then a closet. But let's get a look at this gizmo here one more time. Oops. Man, I'm going to get the hang of this one of these days. It does not like it when you touch it. But that's the bar. It's got a sink in it. It's got your ice bucket, which got the Yeti outside. I don't really need an ice bucket. But yeah, granite countertop. Um, a big bottle of water. And I think it was harder to see the last time, so. A larger refrigerator with a freezer in it so yeah well, let's take you back Zoom. so hopefully this thing is looking at me now oops maybe it's looking at me I don't know don't care um, actually I do care I like to get good at this <laughs> but yeah that's the, this is the hotel room I uh, each uh instead of having nightstands that has two two like end tables that you would find on the end of uh, the end of a couch or something but uh, it's very clean, very nice, hardwood floor, um, tile entrance. Oh, the, the other funky thing. Never seen this before. The girl at the desk said, oh, you got, you've got two keys. I'm like, I'm like, okay, just one of me. But she said, there's a green box. They've got it on the counter. That's the green box she was talking about. She said, in order to operate the lights, one of the keys has to be in there. So let's show you what happens. You take the key out. Well, all the lights. Anyway, when I came in the road, when I came in the room, that was kind of melodramatic. Uh, when I came in the room, it uh, all the lights were off and it made a clicking sound like somebody had turned the power breaker on. So anyway, that's the end of day 11. Um, I'm here in, oops. <laughs> Oh wow, that jugger just spun around on me. I'm here at the end of day 11. Uh, this uh, gimbal has been taking some getting used to. Uh, it's very smooth, but uh, but yeah, there's that. So, end of day 11, I'm in, not Riverside, left Riverside. I'm just below Chino. Chino something, wherever I'm at. It's an Aries, Aries Suites Hotel. They have two, two buildings side by side. I'm in the older of the two because the, the door goes directly outside. There's no uh, there's no hallway or inside. So it was rated as a three star, which is kind of unusual that the three star would have a door to the outside, but it doesn't matter because coming at your own risk. <laughs> the uh, travel like a Boy Scout, always be prepared. Well, do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are awesome for sticking it out with me and all my boringness of what I see. Um, I appreciate it yeah, that uh, that y'all find me slightly entertaining. Sometimes even humorous. See you in the morning on the morning show. Uh, you might have a surprise. Uh, my friend John will join us. Alright. Peace out.